Hello everyone and welcome back for another building a bag video. Today we're going to be taking a look at the throwing putters. Now if you want to try some of the discs you're going to see here today, be sure to go visit Great Lakes Disc. They have amazing selection, great customer service, and extremely fast shipping. You won't be disappointed. Also, use promo code LEFTY to get 10% off your order. Let's jump on in. So let's go ahead and kick things off with the understable discs that I'm going to be trying here. Now for some of these discs, they actually were in my bag many years ago when I first started. So a lot of them, including this judge, are incredibly seasoned and beat up. So they're going to be flying much differently than what a lot of people may expect. So the judge itself, this is in a classic soft plastic, and I really love this because of how effortless I can get it to hold an incredibly straight line when thrown flat. Again, I have a lot of experience with this disc, and it is something where as a throwing putter, for at least a good year, and a, year to year and a half of when I started, it was my primary throwing putter. It has been thrown into a bunch of trees, but it's a disc that I can really trust on to put it really on any kind of line. So just from a personal standpoint, it's definitely one of those discs that I'm really considering tossing back into the bag. Another disc I have a lot of history with is the Zero Soft Mercy from Latitude 64. Behind that dynamic disc judge, this is probably my next most thrown putter that I had for a good year, maybe year and a half, and even have a throw off ace with this disc. Now I do have a lot of great memories with the Mercy, but it's just too flippy for what I'm looking for. I'm looking for an, a disc that's going to be understable when, uh, say, thrown flat, it's going to hold straight, maybe get just a little bit of turn, and then when thrown on an Anheuser line, it's going to hold the entire way, something workable. Unfortunately, the Mercy is just too understable. Now the next disc, we're going to take a look at the Luna. This is one of those black tacky Lunas that I was also looking at for as a good putting putter. Well, guess what? I'm also considering using it as a decent throwing putter just because they are very well beat in since I've been putting with them for about a year, year and a half. And this is kind of what I'm looking for. Throw it flat, gets a little bit of turn, a little bit of fade back at the end. And then when you really rip into it, it's going to hold that turn almost all the way to the ground. Something just that I can hit a lot of different lines and work on a lot of different lines. That's what I'm kind of looking for. And this again, kind of with that judge, they're very close to each other. The major differences though, is that the Luna beadless, the judge a little bit of a bead, but overall they are kind of hitting that same point. So it's gonna be interesting which one I'm going to end up with. So next we're gonna go into the straight putters and the Envy definitely has to be at the top of this list, especially in this Electron plastic. It is an incredibly straight putter, a little bit of turn in this plastic when thrown really hard or on the slightest of Anheuser angles, but then has a nice steady finish, a very forward finishing flight. And because of that, it is just an incredibly long distance throwing putter. I almost don't even know if I need a mid range throwing a putter like this just because of how how much distance potential it has. But even though I love the flight of the Envy, it almost goes too far. I would always be way too worried about just blasting it past the basket. So with an approach disc, I don't want to have to worry about powering down on a disc like this because it's not going to hit the line that I want. Now a putter with the same flight of the Envy or at least very close to it, but doesn't have as much distance potential is the PA3 from Prodigy. One of the only kind of throwing putters from Prodigy that I actually really like. I do have some history with the PA3, but that was in baseline plastic. In this premium plastic, this thing feels really good. Now, yes, in really warm, moist um, conditions or wet, it's gonna get a little bit slick, which is why, again, I do like the Envy being in a baseline plastic plastic with that uh, electron. However, this still gives me the flight that I'm desiring. Something when I'm throwing it really hard, it's going to hold extremely straight lines. And then when I just throw it on a slight hyzer, it's going to hold that hyzer line the entire way, making it a very point and shoot throwing putter. I definitely say that the PA3 is near the top of the list. So moving on, we now have the Rainmaker, the new putter from Eagle McMahon. And honestly, I wanted to put this into the putting putter video, but I just knew out of the gates it wasn't what I was looking for because it's a fairly deep putter and just did not fit my grip at all. But as a throwing putter, I'm a little bit more open to it. 
Now, because of that deeper profile, it does kind of float on the air a little bit more than say the PA3 or the Envy, but it does have that kind of shot that I'm looking for. It holds extremely dead straight. Now, I haven't really thrown it too much into a headwind, but I do like how if I throw it on a slight hyzer like this, it's gonna hold that nice arcing hyzer all the way to the ground. Same thing when throwing it flat and really ripping to it, it just holds extremely straight, little bit of gentle turn, but then a little bit of fade. Again, just really like the flight. So let's talk about the marble from Birdie because boy, I want to like this putter. Now for putting, it, it just quite wasn't fitting what I was looking for. But again, as a thrower, kind of like the Rainmaker, it, it has that deeper uh, kind of feel to it. So it's very floaty, very glidey. But wow, can this thing handle a lot of different lines and handles torque really well. Something that's great for really straight flying putters. Something you don't have to worry about it turning over and burning. It's just something where you can just rip into it as hard as you want. It'll ride extremely straight and then just have that nice finish at the end. So again, holds the hyzer really well, check mark with that, and then also holds a lot of torque, at least my torque that I put on, it holds that really well with minimal fade back when I rip into it. Again, all things that I'm looking for in those straight putters. All right, let's transition over now to the semi-overstable putters. These are the putters where in, say, calm conditions are going to fly more overstable than what we've been seeing, but in windy conditions, they're going to fly like those straight putters. And first up, we have the Penrose from EV7. As a putting putter, I'm intrigued by this, but as a throwing putter, I really like this putter. This is such a great semi overstable putter. It has that really nice, strong finish at the end, which in calm conditions is what I'm looking for. Not as dumpy as say a zone, but it's something where it's going to have that nice hold that hyzer. I don't have to worry about it flipping up to flat, flying too straight and missing my target. This is going to hold that hyzer very, very well. And when that wind decides to pick up, because we know it will, it's just gonna ride very straight for the most of its flight and then just have a very nice slight finish at the end. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at the Sky God 4. This is yet another kind of wind fighting, very floaty putter, which I'm, I was really interested with how floaty this is, just how well it works in the wind, because usually very floaty putters they're, the wind's gonna kind of push it around a bit. I was really surprised in this. It holds the line extremely well. It has a very, very strong finish at the end. Very torque resistant for my arm speed. So this is a real serious contender when it comes to wind fighting potential. However, I will say that it is a little bit too deep for me. It's something that I do have to adjust my grip for and I don't know if I want to do that. But the flight of the disc is exactly what I'm looking for for a semi-overstable putter. I just don't know if the feel of the disc is there. So once again, we have the Envy, but this time in the Prism Plasma Plastic, so a premium style plastic versus the Baseline Electron that I showed earlier for the straighter discs. This is definitely a step up in stability, particularly in the late stability. It has a harsher finish and it has a little bit more torque resistance. Now it just kind of cuts through the air because it's a much shallower profile putter. And because of that, unlike the Sky God, which just kind of floats and floats, it just gets to where it wants to go, but very lazily it feels like. This wants to get to where it wants to go in an instant. It's like the moment it leaves my hand, it's already at the target. And yes, even though this disc will go a long way, it doesn't have quite as much glide to it as the Electron Envy just because it has that harsher finish for my arm speed. So I don't have to worry about it blowing past the basket. This is definitely a top contender. So now we're going to go ahead and get into the overstable putters. These are the true wind fighters or the discs that I need a very hard finish at the very end. First, we have the Temple from Thought Space. This is a baseline plastic, a nerve plastic, I think it is. So baseline, I love the way this feels. It kind of very reminiscent to me for the old uh, X-Soft zones, which are very difficult to find now. But this disc, wow, it has 
great over stability, but it's still semi-workable. So if I keep it on a hyzer, yes, it's going to fly on that hyzer the entire way. If I throw it on an Anheuser line, it's going to still hold that Anheuser a little bit before checking up and then hyzering out, which once again will make this disc perfect for shaping shots in the woods and also being in baseline plastic. You know, it's so underestimated how important that is because when it's wet, when it's raining, you need to have a disc you can trust in those conditions. So the Ringer GT, particularly in the Z-Flex plastic, is the overstable putter I've been using for at least the last four years. If you've seen my videos, you know I love this overstable putter. Extremely torque resistant like a zone, but it doesn't have the extremely harsh finish of a zone. It is a lot more workable. Just throw it out in the hyzer and it's going to hold that hyzer line again kind of more of a slightly forward penetrating finish versus the zone is just going to have a hard dump and then if you put it on an anheuser you're just going to get it to ride a straight line so if you throw it slight anheuser right out of the hand it'll ride perfectly dead straight with minimal fade even into 20 30 mile an hour headwinds and if you throw it on more of an anheuser like this it's going to hold it almost to the ground it's just a perfect point and shoot over stable torque resistant putt and that's going to lead us into the overstable putter that I actually used before switching over to Discraft, and that was the Slammer. And if you notice, the Slammer does have that thumb track, which may be the reason why when I made the switch over to Discraft, I gravitated to the Ringer GT. Now, I like that thumb track for throwing because it makes sure that my, um, that my grip is consistent. It's not going to slip on the flight plate. It's going to hold it in place. So I really like that when it comes to an overstable disc disc because if the disc slips out when it's overstable it's not going to go anywhere it's just going to hyzer out right away and that prevents it also in baseline plastic for this slammer i can trust my grip in any weather condition another great reason why the slammer you know it's going to season in it's going to be very workable but still keep that nice overstable finish so now we're gonna get to the most unique disc in here and that is the Berg. Some people may say, wait, Berg is an overstable putter? Well, this is just a very torque resistant putter. Again, it's got a thumb track at the very edge of the flight plate. I seem to really like those apparently in my overstable discs, but the flight of this um, Berg, it just holds the line you put it on very torque resistant so I don't have to worry about it turning over even into a wind as long as I keep it on a slight hyzer it's always going to hyzer it's never going to flip up to flat it's always going to hyzer out additionally it has no glide so the wind doesn't really affect it at all so that is great for those approach shots when you don't need to worry about blowing past the basket the Berg is a unique disc and I'm really excited to give it a full try all right, everyone, I hope you all enjoyed. As always, please comment down below with any putters you think might work best for me when it comes to throwing. I'm limited to what I have on hand. Discs aren't cheap, so I can't just go out and buy a whole lot. So if you really think that there are some that would work really well for me, be sure to comment down below. As always, please subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any future videos. Because next up, we're going to be taking a look at the mid-ranges, and we have a lot of good ones to try. So stay tuned. I should have that video out shortly. Until next time, everyone, as always, keep banging them chains.